All right, so how did you get involved with this project? Um, well, Ryan Reynolds, uh, he plays Deadpool in the movie, uh, called me on my cell phone and said, would you like to do this? I have this idea. And uh, I said, oh, that sounds interesting, um, but uh, uh, why would you want to do that? <laughs> and then the next thing I know, uh, I've been kidnapped and I'm on set. You just don't say no to Ryan, you know? I mean, especially if he's kidnapping you, what can right? you do? You can't do anything, you're stuck. So then what would you say then the difference is between Once Upon a Deadpool and Deadpool 2? Well, Once Upon a Deadpool is the PG-13 version of Deadpool 2. So uh, it's fun for the whole family. Uh, uh, you, so you can take your kids uh, to go see it. Um, it's, uh, it's not as objectionable as Deadpool 2. Uh, I brought my kids and uh, they loved it. And also the big difference is uh, Once Upon a Deadpool, a dollar for every ticket sold goes to what they're renaming Fudge Cancer. Um, for the 12, for the 12 days of Deadpool. So a dollar uh, goes to this fantastic organization uh, leading the charge um, uh, in cancer research. So uh, that's that's pretty great too. That is amazing. Not many films get to say that. Um, so how would you describe how your role in Once Upon a Deadpool relates to your role in Princess Bride? <clears throat> well, I think uh, the framing device of being read a story is kind of the, the, the thing that uh, Ryan took from The Princess Bride uh, and uh, wanted to use that uh, you know, story reading device as a way to kind of gloss over the more objectionable Deadpool 2 parts. And then how familiar were you with Ryan Reynolds prior to the uh, filming and prior to the Deadpool films? Well, I think Ryan Reynolds has a very, uh, very good team um, that makes it impossible for everyone uh, in the world to, to not know who he is, you know. Uh, I try not to. I try not to know as much about him as I do. I'd like to know less about him, but he's really always there. Uh, here's a photo of Ryan. Here's a movie of Ryan. Here's a picture of Ryan. Oh, drink Ryan's gin. Oh, do this with Ryan. Oh, be like Ryan. So I know uh, a lot about him, um, more than I really would like to, if I'm being honest. It's a little bit too much. It's a lot of Ryan. A lot. Uh, and, and here I am again talking about him. See? That's how good he is. You don't even want to, but yet he comes up. Okay, well, I won't let you talk about Ryan then. Oh. How is uh, working with director David Leach? Did you get to work with him at all? Um, he came in and, uh, and directed this, uh, and uh, he was great. He was great. To be in uh, kind of the hands of the Deadpool creative team um, was, very, uh, was very exciting. I mean, you know, uh, the writers were there, the director, uh, the guy who plays uh, Deadpool, I forget his name, I uh, was there too, um, and uh, so you we, we were in, you were in pretty 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 good hands. And so on set, was there any fun ad libbing? How did that work? Did you get to input? I mean, I know you were kidnapped, but no, they had it written down on a piece of paper. Say these words, and then you can leave. So I did. Perfect.